I did not expect to be making this video. And I certainly did not expect Bristol City to go out and just sign one of the best centre-backs in the Championship. But here we are. Bristol City have just signed Cal Naismith on a free transfer from Luton Town on a three-year deal. In a remarkable, remarkable signing. That is ridiculous. We've just gone and signed the Luton captain. And we've probably just pinched... Arguably one of the best centre-backs in the championship. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. And, unbelievably, Bruce City have just gone and pulled off an absolute world of signing. Utterly, utterly remarkable how we've pulled this one off, to be brutally honest. Luton, Luton were... Fifth in the end, also, sorry, not fifth, sixth in the end, in the championship, in the playoffs, lost in the semi-finals. And for the max, for the expectations for Luton, that is brilliant. That is an incredible job for Nathan Jones. And Cal Naismith made 45 starts in that, in that team. No, sorry, not 45, 42 starts in that team. And to do that is remarkable. Playing such a good team is remarkable. Bristol City have just gone and signed him. On a free transfer. Utterly remarkable. Utterly brilliant. And that is just, you've got to say, fair fucking play. Because that is a ridiculously good deal. We've just gone and, we've just gone and completed. Because he's one of, he's genuinely one of the best centre-backs in the championship. And I have no questions about that. 42 starts, 42 played, uh, two goals, one against Bournemouth, which was a ridiculous goal, which he took on the edge of the box and curved it in, one against a, one a penalty against Forrest. Seven assists this season from centre-back. Centre-back? He can also play as a defensive midfielder, but again, he mainly plays as a centre-back. And then... Um, 16 clean sheets and a losing team that have been brilliant all season and have had different goalkeepers. Him, he has been a mainstay in that back line and in that in that team, basically. He's been a mainstay. Brussels said you've just gone and signed him. I saw his name not being on the retained list for Luton. Either they were going to talk it out in terms of contracts. They're gonna, uh, they were having talks, Luton having talks with Callan A. Smith on a fully expected... You know they'll get, they'll surely club, they'll surely tie their club captain down. And not in a million years did I think Bruce City would go and pull this off because I was utterly, utterly convinced that Cal Naismith would just stay at Luton. Or if he were to leave, he'd go to a team fighting for the top six, maybe Sheffield United, maybe West Brom, if they're fighting next season, uh, or a maybe even a QPR a stretch. Or maybe even one of those, uh, one of those top top teams in the championship, like a maybe Watford. Yeah, that would be controversial, but you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to get at. We've just gone and signed him. Bristol City don't do this. Bristol City don't do this. Bristol City sign younger players who are maybe working their way up the. Uh, the the leagues, maybe a foreign player, a number Senga, for example, from someone maybe from higher who's not really playing, like Jody Silver, Casey Palmer. City don't do this. They don't go around signing best players in the championship, top players in the championship. We don't do this. But Nigel Pearson does. Nigel Pearson does. Anthony Knockart. Remember him? Bruce City. Might actually, actually, I'm not gonna get excited. I'm not gonna get excited. I'm not gonna get excited. But we've just signed player of the season from a team that's finished sixth. I'm maybe getting excited. Do I have a right to get excited? Oh, I imagine. Oh, I imagine. Him in the midfield. Oh my god. Oh my word. That is beautiful scenes. Him, into him at centre-back on the left-hand side of a back three with either Closer or Cundy. 
oh my god, that is absolutely beautiful. I suppose we don't need Fraser for horse foul now, do we, from Northampton? Just gone and signed one of the best players in the championship. Don't suppose we need a Northampton centre-back, do we? Or do we need a Ewa Closer or Gundy? I suppose we need... I suppose... I think we need one of them. Alongside of Thomas Callas. Once he's back. And it's good that we've signed Naismith down to a three-year deal. Three-year deal is very important. If we had signed for a two-year or one-year, I would have been concerned. But three-year deal is very, very important in that as well. That takes him to 33. Which would indicate... You know, maybe back end of his career, but he'd still do a job in this team. I've no, no, no doubts about it at all. This is a brilliant signing. This is a brilliant signing. I didn't... This was... This was... This is a signing that... That... Will show the championship our ambition... We'll show the championship. We will show the championship what we're about for this signing. This is not a signing that comes around for City too much. This is a signing that will compete with top teams in this division. And that that is what Cal Naismith will do. That is what Cal Naismith will help Bristol City do. That is what I expect from Cal Naismith to do for Bristol City. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you haven't already hit the like button, button on the video if you have enjoyed it subscribe to the age from stock youtube channel as well for more Bush city content and more instant reaction really to transfer shit uh but if you have enjoyed it please hit like on the video if you have already and comment down below your thoughts on Bush city signing luton towns player of the year with the best center back in the championship and is very versatile Kel naismith from luton thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Cheers.